Hi, this is Alexander Ansipov from API and in this video I will show you how to create secured mobile application on API with login logout features and ability to work in offline mode. Let's create API database with name NodeDB. Our database will be secured and users credentials will be saved in predefined collection users. In real application we would have registration page but for our demo application let's create predefined users with name Alex and password pass1 and John with password pass2 our database will be have only one custom collection with name notes. Which will be store short messages. Let's create in collection notes custom column note with type string. By analogy with users collections, let's create two predefined nodes node 1 and node 2 since we considered information in nodes collection as secured we have to mark it as secured press security and permission button and enable secure collection checkbox press save Since our application should be able to work offline, we have to work with our database via API Express. Let's create API Express project with name node project. And in node project, let's create generated service with name nodes. From list of database connection, select predefined database connection with name API nodes db and then select nodes collection. Let's leave everything as it is and press generate service button. And last step, we have to mark our API Express project as secured. Go to settings tab, select security provider enable security rest api checkbox and select security type as security provider and then select predefined api label db security provider now let's create ui of our application go to app stack and create blank ionic application with name node app By default, application already has one screen with name screen1. Let's rename screen1 to login and also let's rename routing for screen login to login. Don't forget to press save link. Then let's add new page with name notes. And came back to login page. So login screen has two input fields. Let's add them. This fields for username and second input fields for password. Let's specify ng property of username as username, ng model username, and ng model for password as password, 
and also let's specify the type of password field as a password then let's add button with text login and in G click as login then let's add scope variable of login screen username and password and also let's add scope function login the login screen application should work with API Express project for that let's run API Express extension select node project and generate nodes generic services after refreshing up just press refresh button corresponding API Express services should be added into our application now let's go to login scope function and drag and drop up client login service after successful login user will be redirected on nodes page otherwise user will see corresponding alert message so let's add API navigate to code to notes page and since all callback functions of up client are asynchronous we have to invoke scope apply met manually and then let's add alert in case of unsuccessful login and last step we have to map scope variable username and password on username and password of login service so just map username on username and password on password and press save and replace on second screen user will be see the list of nodes so let's go to nodes screen and add list UI component remove second and third item and specify property ng repeat of list as node in nodes and specify the text property as node.node and also let's add logout button text logout and ng click logout press save let's add logout scope function drag and drop up client logout service so in case of successful logout user will be redirected on login screen type apri io navigate to login and scope apply and in case of invalid logout show alert message now let's update init method here we have to invoke node find service and map scope
nodes variable on success and again invoke scope apply and add alert on invalid find operation press save our application is ready for testing let's press test link uh, we can test our application in uh, Apple IO on Apple IO test page but there is another way we can remove the frame and switch on toggle device toolbar uh, feature of Google Chrome browser and now we can see how our application will be looked on Galaxy S5 mobile phone so let's provide username Alex and password pass one and press login button so as you can see we were redirected on notes page and we here we see note one and note two so now let's move to offline mode again we can do it easily in Google Chrome browser just enable offline checkbox and now let's clear history and clear console and press logout button and try to perform login operation but now let's try to login under our second user John with password pass2 press login so despite that in our users collections there is such users user whose name John we can't login under John in offline mode because in offline mode we can login only under the last user which was used in application so we can here we can login under Alex and password pass one press login so here as you can see we successfully login in offline mode and we see the data which was cached. That's it. Thanks for your attention.